Ooh, today I have book mail. Now, I actually have two things to open. Now, this one you're probably thinking, but that doesn't look like it has a book in it. And you'd be quite right, but I do know what it does have in it, and it's definitely bookish. So, da 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 da! We're gonna do the unboxing for this as well. And it is exactly what I thought it was going to be. If you can see those, see, and she's even put in a little note as well. These are from Nikki at Saturday Night Reader. Now, Nikki is actually one of my favourite book bloggers. Um, if you don't already know about her site, then go and check it out. I'll just show you the back there as well. See, it's got the website on there. I was like, how cool are they? And I just love her logo and just everything about it really. Comfy PJs, a glass of wine and a good book. All things books. She also does spoiler free reviews as well, which you know I'm a fan of because I don't like giving spoilers in my own reviews and things as well. So that's super cool. And she put in this little note as well. Jo, happy reading. Enjoy your new bookmarks, Nikki. So yay, I will. And I'll be able to put them to good use because I have another book parcel as well. This literally arrived like two minutes ago in the post. So it's super exciting. I'm not actually sure which one it is. It's from HarperCollins Publishers. But I can't quite remember what book um, this one was. So it's kind of exciting. <laughs> rip it open. Da 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 da. Ooh. Letters from Alice. I actually really can't remember this one. Why I'm getting this one. Let's have a look if there's a little note that is. Um, Hi Joe, I'm thrilled to enclose a copy of Letters from Alice. Thank you for offering to read and possibly review. I really hope you enjoy it. All the best. Regina. That is so cute. Yay. I actually totally forgotten about this book. Um, but this is really, look, isn't that pretty? A tale of hardship and hope, a search for the truth. Now with the tagline like that, I can now remember why I would agree to read um, this book. Okay, so let's see. Two women, one secret. Will they be able to keep it under wraps? It is a stormy evening in 1920s London when newly qualified Alma Alice Hudson steps into the home of Charlotte, a terrified teenager who has just given birth out of wedlock. She does not expect to make a pact that will change her life forever. Sworn to secrecy, Alice is determined to keep bewildered Charlotte and her newborn baby safe. But when a threatening note appears, she realises that Charlotte may need more protection than she first thought. <sighs> That sounds awesome. Oh, wow. Yay. Yay for bookmill surprises. And I will be able to put my new bookmarks to good use with this one as well. So that is just awesome bookmail. Yay. Um, so excited. That's awesome. So um, yeah, anyway, so that's what I got in the post. Um, definitely better than Bill's. Um, anyway, if you have read Letters from Alice, um, and you have comments you want to make about it, please no spoilers until I've read it. But um, yeah, if you want to chat about that, maybe you have suggestions for other books as well, which have a similar kind of theme to them, um, then please send those my way in the comments below as well. And also, who are some of your favorite book bloggers? Um, leave links down to their sites and things down below as well. Are you a book blogger? Then feel, feel free to link yourself below as well um, because I'm always on the lookout for fellow book bloggers um, that I can connect with and things. Um, also drop by the Saturday Night Reader website and um, say hello to her as well and let her know that you uh, found out about her from this video as well because that's super cool. Um, also whilst we're waving this bus because it's very hot, um, whilst we're talking about bookmarks do you use bookmarks? I actually collect bookmarks, so this is a really exciting post for me. Um, do you collect bookmarks? 
Um, what is your favourite bookmark that you own? I feel I should do a video all about bookmarks all of a sudden, um, where I can share some of my favourites and things. Um, so yeah, adding that to my to-do list now. But yeah, if you have comments to make about bookmarks as well, are you a monster that dog is your books? Or do you take really good care of them and use bookmarks? Or do you not use bookmark bookmarks, but do you use like receipts or bus tickets or whatever as a substitute bookmark, whatever, comment below. I can feel a lot of reasons why you should be commenting on this video right now. Um, anyway, uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing. I definitely did because this is really exciting stuff. Um, and um, yeah, make sure you check out some of the other videos on site as well. So hook over to those there and come visit me at joelinsdale.com because I have loads more bookish stuff over there both from an author point of view but also from a reader point of view as well it's also you know that's where I do my main book blogging and things so come on over and check out the post over there as well say hello um, anyway that's it thanks for watching and I will see you next time bye